Joining me is one of the most brilliant minds, literally, in the world. Yes, I'm giving you that. Uh, he's a neuropathologist. He was the one that discovered that football players were having brain impact injuries, CTEs, and he doesn't even play football, doesn't even really watch football, doesn't know anything about football. He was just studying the brain. He's like, something is wrong here. Let me welcome back to the show, Dr. Bennett Amalu. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and he has one of the best smiles uh, ever. Yes, definitely. Definitely. I, I see my nephews and, and they're still playing like in, in Little League football leagues and stuff like that. And they've got pads and helmets on. And I'm, I, I still think about these, you know, these brain traumas. And I think about, you know, the Aaron Hernandez story and all of these folks that said that, you know, they, they've been playing football in some kind of, you know, hit sport from the time they were eight and nine years old and having all of these, um, you know, these signs of brain injury when they're in their 20s and their 30s. What, what, what do you say to parents when they, if they ask you, should my kids be playing, you know, t, you know t-ball age football? And if I do let them play, how do I recognize when something may be wrong? Okay, I'll be very honest with you, because you tell the truth to people you love. I love my people. This is 2020. There is no justifiable reason whatsoever. And I repeat, no justifiable reason whatsoever. A child in America today should be playing football. It's not a popular thing to say. It's not a popular stance to take. But I shall speak the truth. In 1957, the American Academy of Pediatrics stated in the position paper that food does have any place in the development of a child. It is not smart to play football. Smart kids don't play football. Maya Angelou, in her book, Why the Kate Bird sing. She noticed that you go to the white high schools, they had the best science labs. You go to the black schools, they have the best football fields. And at her graduation, the commencement speaker said that black people are the best football players. So these are systematic alternative truths that have been sold to us. No child today under the age of 18, should play the high-impact, high-contact coalition sports, American football, ice hockey, mixed martial arts, boxing, wrestling, and rugby. And in soccer, there is no reason whatsoever for a child under the age of 18 to head the ball. We have evolved, just like the coronavirus evolved. We as humans evolved to, and just like the coronavirus becomes more virulent and smarter, we as humans also become smarter. And in 2020, beginning with the work I did over 20 years ago, this is almost 20 years ago, we are now more intelligent. We know better. So football studies have shown that you can suffer permanent brain damage only after one season of football. So any parent that comes to me and asks me, should I let my child play? I would ask that parent, would you let your child smoke a stick of cigarette? Would you let your child drink a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue? No. But you're talking about something more dangerous than cigarette smoke. Violent blows to your head. The human brain is 60 to 80% water for crying out loud doesn't have any capacity to heal itself. This is what makes you a human being. Playing football damages the brain and stops you from being that great, black, beautiful person the Lord God Almighty made you to be. Rather than playing football, play basketball. Rather than playing football, pick up a book and read. And become the Barack Obama of your time. Become the best you could be. Develop the brain the Lord God Almighty has given you to be like God, to seek for like God. Playing football does not allow you to see 
a final question. How many football players live in a million-dollar home at the age of 60? Mm. But how many lawyers live in a million-dollar home at the age of 60? How many doctors live in a million-dollar home at the age of 60? These are truths. We need to begin to recognize the truth. It's always inconvenient, but we should not deny the truth by its inconvenience. But guess what? The truth will set you free. The truth will vindicate you, will liberate you. God is truth. God is light. Did I answer your question? <laughs> <laughs> I think you did.